1935, outside Edinburgh, Scotland. Police have uncovered a pair of corpses that they've been unable to identify. Detectives have no leads and little hope of solving this baffling case. All they have to go on is maggots. So police reach out to the one person in town who knows about bugs, Alexander Mearns, a PhD at the University of Edinburgh. For the um, forensic investigators to actually collect and preserve and then ask an entomologist to look at these specimens was really quite uh, remarkable. But Mearns knows about maggots and their connection to dead bodies. In earlier times, people thought that the maggots just come, uh, grow, appear out of a dead body when you die or when you decompose. It took one of the pioneers of modern biology to prove otherwise. In the 1600s, the Italian physician Francesco Reddy analyzed two jars of rotting meat and figured out that it was flies that bred maggots. He covered one jar, but left the other uncovered. Flies were attracted to both, but only the uncovered jar became infested with maggots. There are 1,100 species of blowfly, and maggots from each one mature at their own particular rate. So to get accurate data, first, Dr. Mearns needs to know exactly which kind of maggot he's studying. To most people, a maggot's a maggot, um, and it's extremely hard to differentiate closely related species. So it's really critical that uh, identification is made soundly. Dr. Mearns identified the fly larvae as belonging to a species called Callifera vicina. Otherwise known as the blue bottle fly. With the maggot's identity established, Mearns moves on. His next task would have been to try to age them. How long was it since they'd been laid on the body parts by the, uh, the female flies? Blue bottle fly eggs follow a pattern like clockwork. The eggs hatch in the first 24 hours. Over the first one to two days, they grow to about five millimeters. Then they molt at day two or three. In the next stage, at four to five days, they reach approximately 10 millimeters. At six or seven days, in the final larval stage, they can reach 14 to 16 millimeters. Then at around 14 days, the larvae become pupas, the life stage where metamorphosis occurs. And finally, after around three weeks, the adult fly emerges. Dr. Mearns concentrates on the largest maggots he's recovered. These maggots are close to 15 millimeters and in the third and final larval stage, which means they're about 12 to 14 days old. Dr. Mearns counts back and determines that the body parts were left by the killer in the ravine sometime within a three-day period, September 16th, 17th, or 18th. This is the first time that the studying of insects had actually led to a specific evidence about the time of death. The maggots have given investigators their first and only clue.